for too many people, it's really a choice between freezing or fleeing. And therefore, very many people are voluntarily fleeing. Others are actually being evacuated by the government. And they are evacuated from the east and the south in Ukraine to the west, but also beyond. Europe has to prepare for hundreds of thousands of new um, uh, refugees this winter from Norway in the north to the southern European countries, there will be tens of thousands of new people coming. However, the majority, of course, will still come to, to Poland, to, the, uh, to hung, hung, Hungary, to Romania, to uh, Moldova. Uh, as compared to the many other wars and conflict areas where we are operational, is the number of elderly and disabled people that are here. Many who have not fled yet from the war zones in the east and in the south are elderly people who cannot or will not leave their, uh, the land of their ancestors, the graves of their parents. And these are people in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, many of them are women. Uh, and, and they are cold, exhausted. What they're hoping for is to a restoration of electricity, gas, warm. But if the Russians continue to, to bomb the whole civilian infrastructure here, they will not get uh, any heating this winter. And therefore, many may freeze to death in their homes. Some are bedridden, cannot go anywhere.